Hello and good day. Welcome to Match Day 2024. I am A.T. Still, the father of osteopathic medicine, and I would like to congratulate the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific D.O. Class of 2024. Always remember my famous quote, an osteopath is only a human engineer who should understand all the laws governing his engine and thereby master disease. Best wishes to all of you and Godspeed. Now, let's get this show started and welcome our host, Dr. Lisa Warren. All right. Well, good morning. What an exciting day that we have here. And uh, so many families, so many students. Um, first, I just want to take a moment to introduce myself, Dr. Lisa Warren. I'm the Assistant Dean for Graduate Medical Education and Residency Placement for our students. And this, this is just a culmination of four years all coming together, all the hard work done, students, um, your families. We have our chairs of our departments here. We have our, our faculty advisors, as well as the Office of Career and Professional Development, in particular, Lacey Avila, June Guerrero, and Brenda Simon, all of whom have put years of just really investment time to get your students here to match day. So congratulations to all. Thank you. Um, I would like to introduce my co-host, Dr. Tom Fox. Tom Fox, come up here, yes. He is my co mc what? All right. Oh, he needs a mic. I, I was ready to project to the back of the room. <laughs> well, good. I mean, and today what we, we will be doing is just kind of leading you up to the minutes that will come to when you get to go over there and pick up your envelopes, as well as being able to um, celebrate and enjoy today's activities. In preparation for all of that, too, and in those instructions, we'll have we'll introduce Dr. Michelle Park, our Dean for Student Affairs. Come on up. And why don't you do the social media? The social, yeah. While we're waiting for Dr. Park to come up, they just showed all the social media channels. For all of the students who are matching today, you know I've been a huge fan of yours for the past four years, celebrating the successes. I'm going to ask you to keep in touch with us. If it's uh, following us, liking us, whatever, send me photos. I cannot wait to see what life has in store for you. I am so incredibly proud of you, and congratulations on this milestone. So a round of applause to the class of 2024. All right, well, Dr. Park, we'll have you come on up as we are um, waiting for our other introductions. All right. Good morning. Should I go ahead and give them their instructions, or we uh, have Dr. Connett doing our toast first? Go ahead. All right. Just want to make sure I'm on my cue. <laughs> so good morning, everybody, again. Great to see you all here. Um, I know that you're basically not going to hear anything I say, so I'm going to try to keep it nice and concise. And I'm going to even give you a visual of what you're going to be doing. So um, I, yes, I have the uh, kind of official script for what you need to do over the next few minutes to get your envelopes. So um, right after I finish the announcements, not right now, but as soon as I finish the announcements, um, you will be released to pick up your envelopes, which you can see right over here, all on the one side. Yes, thank you, Vanna. <laughs> Tom's way Vanna today. Um, you're going to hold on to the envelopes. Don't open them until a little later um, when we announce that it's time. So you'll bring those back to your seat. Um, we'll have a countdown clock displayed on the screens, and at 9 a.m., you will open your envelopes together at your seats with your loved ones who are here with you today. So after you open your envelope, there's going to be mass pandemonium, basically. That's, that's how it happens every year. Um, and you'll have time to celebrate in your seats with your family and friends for just a few minutes. We'll kind of wait until things settle down a little bit, and then uh, we will provide an opportunity for you to come up, if you choose to, to, spell, uh, to share your specialty and where you matched. So we'll call you up by specialty, 
And the clinical chairs, um, or their designees, um, who are all up here, wonderful to see you guys, will come up and um, so we'll, say, we'll have Dr. Katsaros come up and then we'll have all the internal medicine folks come up. And you will, here's your visual here. So either on this side or this side, students. Again, because I know you're not listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Okay. So you're going to come here, you're going to line up with the fabulous crystal. And then you're going to come to the stage here. And you're going to have a name badge on, right? So you're going to take your name. You want to make sure you have this on when you come up. You're going to give your name badge to them because we're going to pull up on a slide where you matched. So we need to have your, your name badge so we can get the right person up there. Then you're going to wait here until they tell you to come up on stage. So Lacey on this side, I think, and Pam on that side. Um, and they will have you, or uh, Darlene, I think. They'll have you come up the stairs at the appropriate time. There's going to be a nice microphone right here in front. And you'll have already filled out your match day card, so make sure you bring that with you. And this is the visual where you can let people know. Do I have it upside down? No, I don't. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll let everybody know where you matched. Um, so you'll come up and you'll just buy a specialty, and then you'll let them uh, know, you know, I matched at this place. And let's see, what else do I need to share with you? Get your envelopes right now, because we are on time. Okay, um, this is voluntary. We do encourage you to share. Um, the envelopes are arranged on the tables on the front over here, alphabetically by last name, starting with the A's closest to me. So it sounds like it's time. Go get your envelopes. All right. Well, all right, Tom. <laughs> Looks what's happening now. Look at all this. these students walking right over to pick up their envelopes. It's, it's a little bit of a long line. It's, I, it's like Walmart the day after Thanksgiving. Look at the crowd <laughs> just all running. Yes. But this is better than a flat screen TV any day. <laughs> While they're doing that, you know, Match Day also incorporates the military match. And before we bring them up, I just want to give special thanks to our, our servicemen from the United States Army, United States Air Force. Woo. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. And just know, especially those that are online, military match occurred in early December, second week in December. So we had students who early on already have known that they had placed into residency programs at that time. That's right. We also had students who matched into urology as well as the San Francisco match in February. So we had a student from each campus uh, match into that. And then the majority of our students here um, over 95% of them have matched through the NRMP. And so That's this is fantastic. a special moment that they get to figure out where they're going to be spending the next three to five years of their training, whether here in Southern California or all over the country. Um, so with that, it's very exciting. This yeah. has been a long week for them too, Tom. Did you know that on Monday they found out whether they matched or not? That's right. And then they've just been sitting on pins and needles over the last four days to get to this moment to open up this envelope. In and front we're of making us. them wait until 9 a.m. The, <laughs> the suspense is palpable. I know. Can you imagine what their fingertips feel like right now as they're holding that envelope and walking back to their table? <laughs> Nothing but an excitement. Yes. And it's so wonderful seeing everybody in, in 3D because when this class started, it was 100% remote. Everybody was on lockdown and everything was Zoom. And these students were absolutely incredible because they couldn't even form study groups. They yeah. couldn't make those person-to-person uh, -person bonds. And it's just so wonderful to have everybody in person. I'm, I'm very excited. And all the, uh, all the experiences that are just required to really be able to nurture and kind of support them along this way and be able to celebrate something in person with them and share this beautiful excitement in this experience. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, it looks like most, if not all, have already picked up their envelopes. Now they're sitting at their tables. Okay. And we have a few moments here to sort out, you know, what will we be doing here with them? Yeah, show of hands, who's not excited? <laughs> there is not one finger. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one. There's, there's one in every room. <laughs> always, always some excitement happening around here, so. I want to give a shout out to the people who are watching us in the Midwest at to, uh, Together Credit Union. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> yes, of course, you know. And there are probably people all over the world. Thank you for chiming in here because, you know, it's hard to... 
want to sh you want to share this very momentous experience with your loved one, but often many are all over the country, or even those students um, who are part of this class who may be Zoomed in, congratulations to you as you're about to also find out, um, though you may not be in your person, you're on, on screen or virtually, and hopefully we get to hear and share where you get to match to. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're all seated we at the table. How are doing the time? I know. I know. Okay, it's 8.49. We only have 11 minutes. Yes. I see people trying to look through the envelopes, holding them up to the light. It's not going to work. Dr. <laughs> Warren and the Office of Career and Professional Development treat this like Oscars night with a suitcase and a handcuff on the arm. Total secrecy with bodyguards and everything. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Maybe not as grandiose, but uh, I know. we certainly, di it was difficult to keep it a secret because we're just as excited as you are. Yeah, I know. All right, well. We, we're waiting just for some special guests here as, as we're going to get welcome. Um, That's right. So we're just waiting here for a few moments. Um, others are just taking pictures in the room. Um, and we're just waiting for the moment in the countdown to happen for us to be able to open up these envelopes. That's so. right. And if you didn't get a champagne or a sparkling cider, by all means, please do, because we're going to raise the glass later, have a toast. And, you know, with, with the students, I always slip into dad mode. And make sure you get plenty to eat. There's all the food in the back. Um, so don't leave hungry. Yes. You know what? I want to thank Dr. Frey. Comp class of 2002, fellowship 2003. You know how I'm always uh, specific about these things. He's our chair of admissions. And this year, we have our admissions department here because the recruiters... The admissions counselors, they've been a part of this journey with the students. And they finally get to see what happens after those four years and all the help that you gave them when they were frightened applicants. So a round of applause, please, for our Office of Admissions. Yes. Yeah. And then we have our faculty, during, especially during the first two years, you know, with it, the amount of investment there is that really goes into the preclinical curriculum, getting them set up. Many students are leaning towards their, you know, they go through the first two years didactics as well as into their next two years clinicals. And so it is a lot of work to get to this point. Yeah. It is my pleasure, everyone, please take a moment here. I am, it's my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine, Dr. Dave Conant, um, who will be giving us a toast right before we open our envelopes. So please welcome Dr. Conant. Good morning, all. Congratulations, class of 2024. This is an incredible journey you have all ventured. And again, it's just been, what an incredible four years it has been, eh? Anyway, I'll go ahead and keep my uh, comments short since uh, we're pressing up against the nine o'clock hour. Dr. Warren, will you uh, join me on the stage, please? I would just like to go ahead and uh, give my congrats. And, uh, if you will please raise your glasses with me. Here's to the class of 2024, to your remarkable achievements to the journeys ahead and the lives you will touch and transform. May your careers be as fulfilled as your presence here today is to all of us. Congratulations, class of 2024. We're immeasurably proud of you and look forward to your achievements. Cheers. Cheers. All right, and then with that, in cheers, we have a special guest in our audience. Well, virtual audience, I would like to come down and introduce special guests on the screen. Uh, Tom, you can kind of step off the stage as I introduce our president of the university, Dr. Farias Eisner. 
How exciting. Happy Match Day, the Ides of March. It's an honor, a pleasure, and a privilege to be a part of this. Um, we're in Oregon at the moment, but wanted absolutely to express how proud we are of all of you. So proud of you for your grit, your tenacity, perseverance. During these difficult times, you came in in 2020 at the peak of the pandemic, and you've you've continued demonstrated incredible dedication. We're so grateful to your families, your friends, your loved ones who have supported you through these challenging and extremely, uh, I would say, exciting and yet challenging years. You will forever be our ambassador. We're so honored that you chose this institution and that we chose you. You'll always be part of this family and we will always be here to support you. We're incredibly excited about this day and we know that you'll go out and you'll serve uh, as healers uh, on the world health care stage. Congratulations. Please raise a glass to all of you. A heartfelt congratulations to our incredible students, your families, your loved ones, your friends. Cheers. God bless. Godspeed. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a few moments. We're going to be getting ready for this countdown. Until then, just hold tight. A <laughs> few more minutes. <laughs> We're, we'll make this countdown go down as fast as we can. <laughs> I just don't think I can speed up time any quicker. <laughs> I know. It's like uh, uh, Times Square on New Year's <laughs> Eve. <laughs> We're all so excited. But yeah. we don't have any rock stars or any bands playing, so I'll sing. <laughs> I'm kidding. What, what time are we looking at right now? I don't have a watch. 8.56. We only have four more minutes. If you have to do a bathroom break. That's 240 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> we could do a 240 countdown. Yes, 240 <laughs> seconds to use the restrooms and go. <laughs> I know, I know. This is exciting. It's always interesting to, to talk to the students and when they come to medical school, they think they might want to go into a certain specialty. Then they go out on rotations and they fall in love with something else. So it's, it's always nice to see that growth, that transition. Yes, and all of that too, it's, you know, we have to thank all our hospital partners and all of those that really do support and train our students. As we mentioned, during our first two years, students are on campus or have experiences on campus, but as they go out in the third and fourth year, they are on clinical rotations that extend within our region, as well as out of state, gaining experiences all over the country just to really nurture what they're interested in. That's so right. with that, we have so many community and hospital partners that we do thank for all that work and training that they did to get our students where they are today. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. And I'm gonna set this down so I can do the countdown. Oh yeah. And you know, each year this is such a momentous experience. You know, for myself, you know, back back in the day it was a little bit of a different experience, you know, it, at the time it was a smaller college uh, different experiences, but each year um, through all of it, it's it's just fun as if I'm reliving my match ex experience year in and year out and getting to share the excitement and enthusiasm with the students here. Yeah. All right, y'all, we have two minutes home stretching. Soon enough, right. we will have our countdown coming along. So. Two minute warning. <laughs> this is going to be like the, the last two minutes of an NBA uh, finals game. It's going to feel like it's taking forever for these two minutes to elapse. <laughs> but this will it's all so be a close. blur for them after today. It is. It is. So I know. And if anybody, if there is something that comes up on an email, please shout out because we are going on a clock system that we have, but we know that sometimes NRMP throws it a little earlier, so let us know because <laughs> we want to at least respect everyone here. I'm really they excited. They already got it? 
On email, open those envelopes. Open them up. Open, open. Get this. <laughs> Dr. Warren, see, you, I mean, it, no Brandon, sooner did you say they sometimes do it early, they did it and early. And you know what? It doesn't matter. We hear all excitement happening. This is, there's I shouts, have, I have goosebumps. There's hugs, there's cameras up, there's fist bumps. Look at this, I feel, I this got is why, This is why I love this day. Look at the smiles, the high fives. This is so wonderful. Oh my goodness. I just see so many hugs, kisses, love. That's another thing I love. The, the families are equally, if not more, excited for their, their children, their soon to be physicians, yes. surgeons. I mean, there's just so much. I mean, all the years, as we mentioned, I mean, just so much work and investment that it takes to get here and to have the families get to intimately be involved and just share and hug and just love on their loved one. Yeah. All the accomplishments is such a great experience to, to be a part of with them, too. And one of the things that I love is that when they all start, they're scared. They're nervous. And we tell them. We got you. It'll be okay. You will. And look at this. We're now here. they know we're right. <laughs> we're always right. And they, they, all the work. It's just, it's, they did. it's so much. It's so well deserved for all of them to, to just see the fruits of all their accomplishments come Absolutely. at a, a special day as today. You know. So with it, we have so many who are taking pictures here. For those online, I know you can't. It's hard to see, but. There, and I hope, and I just wish for all of those who are do, sharing this experience at home, congratulations to you all. This is, is such a special experience, and so. Yeah. I'm I, telling you, this, and it hasn't died down. It's, this excitement is still just tears are wonderful. wiped, hugs, taking photos. I can't wait for them to come up and tell us where they're going. Yeah, we will have a few moments where we will have... Our stu we will invite the clinical chairs up on the stage to introduce the specialty as well as those students who matched into that specialty to share where they will be going to all of us here in the room as well as to all of you online and just get a flavor of where it all our now soon to be alumni will be headed towards. Yes. Some of these students will be traveling across the country some will stay right here in Southern California. I know you went to Texas. Yes, I was in Central and Texas. Yeah, so. Came back. Came, so it was good. That's so you never, right. But you always know this is your home. This is where we always started. This is where I started my medical training. Yeah. <laughs> you know, only a few years ago, 2001, I graduated. But, you know, in that, it just seems like yesterday at moments. Um, you know, and in it, you just, you know that this was a stepping stone towards the next phases in your career. We um, want to make sure you all write down on those, write those down. good cards where you're going. And why don't, why don't we, well, nobody's going to really listen right now because they're all so excited. We want to walk down there and just start seeing and talking to a few of them. <laughs> you know what? Why not? I know. Let's you, go you get want, some exercise. You take that side, I'll take this side. I know. And then... Think. Oh, I see. What do you, what do you all Loma think? Loma Linda. Wonderful. Yeah. Staying local. We're talking about how exciting it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Saw them Where are we going? peeking on their <laughs> Riverside? Yes. Anesthesia in Riverside. All right. That's exciting. Let's Congratulations. Look at neurology. Very exciting. Yeah, it's okay. I right. see emergency medicine at Los Can't Robles. Can't wait to hear. Congratulations. We're just walking around, chatting before we get up yeah, there. Good. Congratulations. Sutter Health All Internal right, Medicine. Congratulations. Tears and of joy. We're going home. Congrats. That's All right. Congratulations. And we got many of them checking in with their friends and colleagues. All oh, right. As walking around the room, people are writing down where they're going. Psychiatry, nice. Arrowhead, perfect. 
I see neurology, congratulations. internal medicine. Yes, neurology, internal medicine. Nice. Congrats. Can't wait to sh have you share that. Another anesthesiology. And and some more. You, Texas, in all Houston. Right. Wonderful. Congratulations. They're all writing it down on their cards. Oh, look. And then here, so much. Yay. And pediatrics. Yeah. Don't forget to write it on your card. Yeah. <laughs> We got psychiatry at Arrowhead over here. Yep. Oh, oh, oh yay. And who's Congrats. your sister? All right. Mira, Hi there. congratulations. Congratulations. So everybody's running All around right. hugging each other. So. All right. I think we're getting close to having specialty call outs here in a moment. Oh, I see a neurology match here. Where are we going? Kaiser, Los Angeles. Congratulations. I love seeing the family members getting on their phones, calling loved ones that couldn't join us today and sharing the good news with them. All right, let's go ahead and take our seats. We're ready to start our specialty call outs. Can I get everybody's attention, please? I know you guys are super excited and so are we. Um, and we're really excited to hear where you are going to be spending the next couple of years of your life. So everybody can please take your seats. I am going to call up someone who you know and love. Your very own class of 2024, former class president, now class rep extraordinaire, soon to be Dr. Kelly DeRay. Hey everybody, how you doing? Give a big round of applause to the class of 2024. <laughs> well done everyone, congratulations. It's an extraordinary honor to be endowed with the privilege to serve others in our soon to be capacity as physicians. A privilege that we only have received through the love and support of our loved ones here today, our friends and our family, both here today and virtually. We couldn't have done it without you. Give a big round of applause for everyone in the room. It feels like just yesterday you were sitting beside us when our hands were shaking, opening an email to see where we were going to medical school, and you cheered us on the whole way through. And uh, we're so grateful for your support. For so many years, we've watched the videos of everybody matching online, and we thought, oh, that, that'll never be me. I'll never get there. <laughs> well, here we damn well are. <laughs> Good job, guys. I'm so proud of you. Today, as we celebrate this incredible achievement, we remember our colleague, Sumit Brar, who brought more kindness to the world than we've ever known, and we honor his memory today and every day. I'm so grateful to have served as this class's president. The friendships I've made here at Western University are deeper than any I've ever known. We've celebrated each other's joys as fully as our own, and we've mourned each other's losses just as much. I'm so proud of you all. Congratulations, everyone. And let's see where we all matched. All right. There we go. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to go and we're going to bring up our students by specialty. So if you matched in internal medicine, you'll come up with the internal medicine. You matched in OBGYN, you'll come in up with the OBGYN folks. 
So this is important because you need to know when you're going to come up. So this is the order in which we'll bring everyone up. We have the military first, then psychiatry, OBGYN, internal medicine, family medicine, PM&R, let's see, radiology, pathology, derm, peds, emergency medicine, anesthesiology, surgery, general and all subspecialties. And then um, other specialties, transitional years, anybody who forgot to come up because they were too excited, you can also come up at the, at the end. All right. So has everybody filled out their match day sign? Yes? Yes? No? Show me your match day signs. We got them up? Ah, all right, all right. We got those ready to go. Awesome. All right, so we would love to hear where you matched. If you're willing to share, again, only, a, only if you would like to do so. We don't want to put any pressure on you. It's a big day. Um, we're going to ask you to grab your match day sign. If you are military, uh, you're going to come up first. And we're going to do this by specialty in that order. So again, you're going to come up either on this side down here or on that side over here. Here, I'll do the demo on this side because Darlene's there and she's always smiling at me. I love it. She's the most positive person. Okay, so you're going to come up on one of the sides and you're going to hand, I forgot to bring my, uh, my name badge, but I'm going to hand my name badge to Darlene who's going to hand it to Sean who's going to look you up and put you up on the big screen. And then I'm going to say, Darlene, is it time? Can I go? Okay, I can go. All right, sweet. And then you're going to come up here going to hold up your match sign and you're going to announce where you'll be spending your time for residency. And then when you're done, if you're on this side of the stage, you'll go down these stairs. And if you're on the other side, you'll go down the other stairs. Sound good? All right, we got a plan. Oh, when you are at the mic, say, your, say everything slowly and clearly so that everybody can understand where you are. I know it's like going to be really exciting. So that is everything. I would like to invite our military match students to please line up on either side, and we're going to get this party started. Dr. Barnes, the show is yours. Are you going to do that one? Can you guys hear me? Congratulations. So I'm Dr. Ed Barnes. I also went through the military match when I was in medical school. I'm one of the vice deans here now. Um, the students who matched in the military, they actually found out in mid-December. Uh, but they were invited and welcomed here today to be part of the, the ceremony. So um, these students have not only dedicated their lives to medicine, they've also dedicated their lives to the military. Uh, we've also invited Sergeant First Class Wheeler and other folks from the Army to join us on the stage and um, congratulate our military match students. Okay, so congratulations to everybody who has matched through the military match system. This is a very big day for you. This is a very big day for the Department of Defense healthcare system. We're looking forward to all the big things that you're going to do for us. You're taking care of a very important patient population, and we're very proud of all of you. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Kelly DeRay. I matched my number one general surgery at Naval Medical Center, San Diego. Alrighty, hi everyone, I'm ECAT. I also matched my number one. I'm gonna be a neurologist for the US Air Force, heading out to San Antonio. Give it up for our military match students. This is good. I didn't have to lower the microphone that much. 
Okay. I'm Dr. Yadi Fernandez Sweeney, Chair of Psychiatry and Behavioral Medicine. First question I have for you, class of 2024, FOM8 was your favorite teaching block, correct? Good, that was the right answer. In one way or another, what I wanted to do, this moment will be gone in an hour, and I will kick myself on the freeway if I don't say this. All of you who I've met with, not only in psychiatry, but talking about family medicine, internal medicine, whatever the specialty, what was clear to me in the last year, three years sometimes, is how much your mothers and fathers in different ways inspired you, your siblings, your cousins, your pets who are no longer with you. I don't want to leave anybody out, but what I do want to do is while these Wonderful individuals may not be able to be with us physically. I want to bring their spirit into the room. And Sumit Brar had a passion for psychiatry, so I want to speak to that. To the, my psych team, go out there and heal where you can. This world is ready and aching for the art and the science of psychiatry. On behalf of the Department of Behavioral Medicine and Psychiatry, it is my profound joy to introduce to you the Psychiatry Bound Team. Come on up. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Christopher Fernandez and I match psychiatry at Riverside University Health Systems. Hello everyone, my name is Ellen Gao and I match my number one at Kaiser Fontana Psychiatry. Wow, this is way too tall. Hi everybody, my name's Nicole and I also matched my number one at Kaiser Fontana. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Gina. I'm gonna be a psychiatrist at Arrowhead Regional. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I mashed into UCSF Fresno. Hey, everyone, I'm Prem Paul, and I matched at Kern Medical Center. Hi, everyone, my name is Mira, and I matched at Arrowhead. Hi everybody, my name's Ivan. I'm in psychiatry at UCLA Kern Medical Center. Hi everyone, I'm Ozma and I match psychiatry at Virginia Commonwealth University. Hello everybody, I'm Anita Nelson, OBGYN, and I want to invite everybody who wants to come up and share your good news with us, please line up on either side. We want to hear your, your matches. And while they're coming up, I want very much to let you all know how resilient these people were, how hardworking, what stars they are. OBGYN is one of the most difficult subspecialties to match into, and they did it. So. Uh, and those of you who are not lining up going into OBGYN, please, uh, I know FOM8 wasn't your favorite. <laughs> it was 4 and 7. We make 11. That's even bigger. And I know you're all going to pay whichever specialty you're going into. Because you're Western, you're going to really appreciate women's reproductive health. And I thank you for that. Now, for the people who are really going to go into the specialty, please, come on up, folks.
Hi, I'm Madeline. I think I'm the happiest person to ever say this, but I'm moving to Ohio. <laughs> I'm going to Cleveland Clinic Akron General to be an OBGYN. <laughs> Everybody, my name is Eilish Gedsted, and I'm excited to say I matched my number one Loma Linda. Hi, everyone. I'm Nicolette, and I matched OB-GYN at University of Michigan Health West. <laughs> Hi, my name is Daniela, and I match uh, ob at Harvard UCLA. Hi, everyone. I'm Elika, and I'm excited to announce that I matched at Arrowhead for OBGYN. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Megana and I matched at UCSF Fresno for OBGYN. All right, so can we have our future internists come on up? Just line on up. And why they why would they do that and we get our group here together on either side. I just want to congratulate all the students for all their hard work over the years. Uh, it's, uh, of course, a tremendous job that you've all done. And I congratulate all of you uh, for everything that you have done. And we look forward to our future hospitalists, our future cardiologists, perhaps pulmonologists, perhaps rheumatologists among you. Ah, uh, nephrology. <laughs> Dr. Barnes. All right. Why don't you come on up? Hi, everyone. I'm Alyssa, and I'm excited to announce that I matched internal medicine at Loma Linda. Hey guys, I'm Patrick, and I will be doing internal medicine at Arrowhead Hospital, right down the road. Hi everyone, my name is Mackenzie, and I'm excited to say I matched at my number one Arrowhead, internal medicine. <laughs> Hi, my name is Valeria, and I match internal medicine at Creighton University, Phoenix. Hi, my name is Ratika, and I match internal medicine at Riverside University Health System. Hi, my name is Jeffrey, and I matched at UCSF Fresno. Hi, my name is Dewan Shu, and I'm Master in Trauma Medicine at UA Phoenix. Hi, everyone. My name's Cassandra, and I matched at Arrowhead Regional. Hi, my name's Tiffany, and I matched at Santa Clara Valley Med. Hi, my name is Anthony, and I matched at Loma Linda University. Hi, my name is Eddie, I matched at UCR. Hi, 
Hi everyone, my name's Stephanie and I matched at UCSF Fresno. Good morning everyone, my name's Sam and I matched at Scripps Mercy in San Diego. Hi everyone, I'm Christina, I matched my number one at all of you UCLA. Hi everyone, my name is Mike and I matched at Orlando Health in Florida. Hi everyone, my name is Amin and I matched at RUHS. Morning, everyone. I'd like to invite those students that matched into family medicine up to the stage. So, family medicine, line up on either side. Make sure you bring up your name badge as well. So, as everyone's lining up, I'm Dr. Politano. I'm the vice chair of family medicine. And to all of our future family medicine physicians here, they are the future of healthcare delivery in this country, taking care of patients with a wide breadth of pathology flexibility to take care of patients in a variety of settings, and very importantly, a lot of them are entering this field to forge those long-term relationships with their patients and to also help entrust them in our care of them in all fields of medicine. So congrats to all of you, and um, thank you for being the front line of care and the future of medicine in this country. So I'd like to invite our family medicine physicians on stage to announce their match results. Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I match my number one at Ultimed. Hi, good morning everyone and congratulations to all. Uh, my name is Josh Hernandez and I re, uh, ranked at my number one, uh, Marion Regional in Santa Maria. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nafal, and with the next pick in the 2024 NRMP draft, I've been selected to Riverside Community Hospital. Good morning, everyone. My name is Albert Chang, and I match that Loma Linda Marietta. Hi everyone, my name is Nay and I matched at Riverside University Health System. Good morning everyone, my name is Gabriel Nesbitt and I'm excited to announce I matched at Eisenhower Medical Center. Hi, my name is Keishan, I matched family medicine at Kaiser Riverside. Hi everyone, my name is Willie. I match family medicine at Adventist Health White Memorial in, in LA. Hey everyone, I'm Armin. I match Adventist Health Glendale. Hi everyone, my name is Druva and I matched at Arrowhead Medical Center. Hi everyone, um, my name is Tui Hong and I matched family medicine at Kaiser LA. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Judy and I matched family medicine at Pomona Valley. Hi everyone, I'm Shalini Agarwal and I matched at Kaiser LA. Hi guys, I'm Hannah and I matched at 
Adventist Health White Memorial. Hi everyone, I'm Shivani and I matched at California Hospital Medical Center in LA. I'm Satara, and I match family medicine at Ventus White uh, Memorial. Hi, everyone. My name's Abigail, and I match family med at Temecula Valley. Class of 2024, congratulations! I'd like to invite those students who matched in physical medicine and rehabilitation and neurology to please come on up. My name is Marcel Frey. I am the chair of physical medicine and rehab. This has gotten to be quite a competitive residency, so I really extend all the congratulations to those who have matched as well as those of our colleagues who are going into neurology, congratulations. So please come on up. Hi, I'm Cameron. I matched PM&R at Casa Kalina. I'm Ian Steller. I match PM&R at Rutgers New Jersey Medical School. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Lee and I'm going to be a physiatrist at LSU New Orleans. How are we doing? My name is Pearl. I'm going to be a physiatrist at Zucker Northwell in Long Island. Hey everyone, I'm John King and I match PM&R at Albert Einstein. Hello, my name's Satara. I match into neurology at my number one at Kaiser LA. Hi everyone, I'm Sean and I match neurology at Harbor UCLA. My name is Raquel, and I matched P uh, for PMNR at Virginia Commonwealth University. Hello, everyone, class of 2024, congratulations. Big round of applause to all of you. This group should be honored. I rarely ever remove my mask, so here goes the mask. <laughs> All right, uh, this is the most resilient and remarkable group of students, soon to be physicians, so big congratulations to you. I'm honored here, and, and again, students uh, who have matched to radiology, pathology, and dermatology, can you please start lining up on both sides? I'm honored here today to be presenting these three groups. Uh, what do radiologists? dermatologists and pathologists have in common? Great hours. <laughs> Seriously, uh, great opportunities and uh, an opportunity to be part of a really uh, remarkable group of physicians who are really out in the front doing quality patient care. Uh, before I start giving a chance to the students, I do want to mention one name, Sumit Brar. He was my mentee and Sumit was a remarkable, resilient, amazing young man. He will be missed. All right, the first group is going to be, oh, by the way, I'm Dr. Prasad. I'm, <laughs> I'm a pathologist. I'm the chair of the clinical sciences departments at the Western University. 
Uh, let's start with uh, radiology. We have two students who have matched into radiology. Come on, guys. Well, they've already started their job doing their work remotely. <laughs> Good for you guys. All right. Uh, next group, let's see how pathology does. Uh, seven, of our, seven of our students have matched. Any pathologists here, soon to be pathologists? Come on in. Hi, my name is Chris and I matched USC. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pearl Auden, and I matched pathology at UC Irvine! All right, the last group today we have is dermatology. We have four students who have matched. Any future dermatologists in the house? Yes. I'm Melissa. I'm Daniel. And we couples match. I match dermatology at Beaumont Farmington Hills in Detroit, Michigan. And I'm doing pediatrics at Authority Health in Michigan. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Kevin Wynn, and I match in dermatology at my number one, Larkin, South Miami. All right, well, I'm taking off my co-host hat and I'm putting on my pediatrics hat. So Dr. Warren, again, Chair Peds, it's my pleasure to introduce those that match. Well, they're gonna introduce themselves into pediatrics. So please come up and share where you matched. Uh, very special, um, these individuals, I've known them since day one, pediatric interest group and just leading all the way through, mini medical school, all the activities in there, and then just really having the heart and the passion for taking care of our patients who, you know, have need the voice of, of the advocacy of these groups. So with it, um, excited to have them and hear where they're matching. My name is Hannah, matching in UC Davis. Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda. I'm Ash at UCI Chalk. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Ariel Magpock and I'm Ashton Tapeds at Loma Linda University Primary Care Track. Hi everyone, I'm Christina and I match pediatrics at Loma Linda. Hi, my name is Tori. I matched pediatrics at Kaiser LA. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Grace and I matched pediatrics at my number one USC. Hi, my name is Olga. I match pediatrics at my number one, CHLA! Hi, everyone. My name is Ashna. I match pediatrics at Kaiser LA.
Hello, class of 2024. You do not recognize me. <laughs> Dr. Safawi with clothes on. <laughs> I have the privilege of welcoming those who are going into emergency medicine. Please come up. Emergency medicine had a very beautiful year this year. So those of you who were not afraid of going into it, not listening to the hype that was out there and being scared for the a number of a, positions that were left open for the past two years, welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Luke, and I matched into emergency medicine at Arrowhead Regional Medical Center. Hello and good morning, you lovely people. My name is Tony, and I match emergency medicine at Kawia. Hi everybody, I'm Bijan and I matched at Kaiser Central California. Hello, I'm Tatum, I matched emergency medicine at Thomas Jefferson in Philadelphia. Woo! Woo! Hello everybody, um, my name is Jonathan and I matched on my number one RUHS. Hi everyone, my name is Gordon and I match that soccer Staten Island in New York. Hello everyone, I'm Laura Ponce and I match that UC Davis. Hello everyone, my name is Derek, and I matched at USC LA General. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Molly, and I matched at University of Texas San Antonio. My name's Emily, and I matched emergency medicine at RUHS. Hi everyone, my name is Navard and I matched up my number one at RUHS. Hello everybody, my name is Clara and I also matched RUHS. Hello, everybody. Um, I also matched my number one at RUHS. Hi there. Uh, my name is Will. I match emergency medicine at Wyckoff Heights in Brooklyn. Okay, so now. I would like to welcome my colleagues that will help us in the OR, our anesthesiologists that we can't do anything without. If you're in the house, come on up. Everyone, my name's Josh, I matched uh, Riverside University Health System. Anesthesia, baby! Woo! Hi, y'all. I'm Eric. I matched anesthesia at my number one, University of Texas, Houston.
Howdy, y'all. I'm Mitchell, matched anesthesia at Baylor Scott and White, Temple, Texas. Yeah. Our last category for the surgical and surgical subspecialties, this is a very, very competitive field. We were lucky to have people match into extremely competitive fields such as urology, ophthalmology, orthopedics, and general surgery. So if you guys are in the house, come on up. Hi everybody, I'm Victor. Uh, I matched my number one orthopedic surgery in Ventura at Community Memorial Health System. Let's go! Uh, hey guys, for those of you who bullied me, bullied me with phallic jokes for the past four years, congratulations. <laughs> I'm at Urology at St. Joseph Medical Center up in Stockton, California. Per Dr. Safawi's request, I'm back. I am once again Kelly Duray. I've matched general surgery at my number one in San Diego. Yes, I know you're tired of seeing me like you've been for the last four years. I swear this is it. Any other specialties, transitional years, or anyone else who felt that they wanted to come up to the mic and didn't have the opportunity to do so, now is your chance. Going once. Okay, here we go. Everyone, I'm up here for my parents. My name is Kim. I matched into radiation oncology at City of Hope. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce the vice deans. Thank you, Dr. Safawi. Wow, what an exciting morning. DO 2024, now that you know where you're gonna spend your next few years, I reflect on what you had to go through over these, these past few years in med school. Who knew under COVID all of the changes uh, that you were gonna have to deal with? Um, you've already heard from a number of people that talked about the resiliency. Each of you have certainly developed that to allow you to be successful. Now that commencement just, uh, just under two months away, um, you know where you're going. Keep in mind that as you move forward, all those hours you spent studying, all those hours in the clinic, the frustrations that you sometimes had to deal with but overcame, congratulations. Every one of you is ready for this next phase. As you go forward, keep that passion for learning and make sure that you treat all of your patients with the respect and compassion that they deserve. I wish you all the best. Congratulations. Dr. Barnes. You guys, this is a big deal. I, I sometimes envy the students as they go out into their residency because it was one of my favorite times uh, going through this pathway. I think you're going to learn and enjoy doing things and taking care of people. Every one of our faculty and staff have poured all that they have into you. And so we are all very excited about the ripples that you take out with you, all the lives and patients that you're gonna touch and, and help and cure and heal. Just remember that we're always here for you. Um, and if you need anything, please reach back out and we wanna be here for you. Now we're gonna go through some acid-base problems. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Yeah, but remember acid base because you're all going to need it, okay? <laughs> well, this pretty much concludes our ceremony. I, we are so very proud of you, and we look forward to hearing back from you um, as you're out there taking care of people. Thank you.